Yeah, okay, so um, I said I was not going to buy any more cars ever and definitely was not going to do another Mustang. But then I found this thing and it was wicked cheap and I couldn't figure out why. I figured it needs four boards, which it does. And it needs quarter panels. See, yeah, I can stick my finger in there. Uh, but the real bad part, the reason it was so cheap, is because uh, the roof is full of holes. And it's especially bad back here around the rear window. And uh, so it's gonna take some major repair work to, yeah, this is a seam, I think. So I gotta cut off this roof and put on a new roof. And uh, I also gotta get it off the trailer and get it in under cover before it rains or it'll get full of water. Cause it's got a lot of holes. Ah. Yeah, so it's completely gone here. And there's all kinds of dirt under there. And uh, I don't know if I gotta take out the windshield to fix this or not. But they they have a roof panel available, but it's for a fastback. They don't have one for a coupe. And that uh, that problem around the back window would be the worst of it. But I've got another piece of a Mustang, the back half of a roof, and with a fastback roof and this half a roof I got out back. I think I can fix this, but I still don't know why I want to. Uh, let me get down here. It's a six-cylinder automatic, and uh, doesn't run. At least that's what the guy tells me. Let's see if I can figure out how to open this. Oh, I, uh, Ouch, me in the jaw. Wow, the hood hinges work. Six cylinder engine, it's there. Uh, somebody's been working on it, trying to get it to run. But they tell me maybe it needs a coil or something, so I'll work on that today. Well, I'm waiting for Richard to get back here and help me unload it. <sighs> but he just dropped it off, I wasn't here. So, uh, yeah, that quarter panel needs replacing too. Besides that rust hole there, it's got it's got rust here and here and here. And I don't know. Maybe I can just get a top half of a quarter panel. But yeah, definitely got work to do. I don't know if I can get. No, I can't get the door open. Uh, blue interior. Driver's seat is ripped. Or split or whatever so I got to reupholster the front seats probably got to put in a headliner when I because I probably got to take that one out even if it's good it's gonna catch fire when I start welding a new roof on now nah, it's all coming apart so I guess I got to replace that too either so I'll uh, wait until Richard gets back to unload it or maybe I'll just roll it off and I can move the truck and maybe push it by hand. Uh, there's no brakes. So, uh, this is all the trim. This stuff here is for the vinyl top. Oh, damn it. So, we even got the original jack. So, yeah, this. I don't know if I'll put a vinyl top on it. This piece goes here. Then I got another piece to come back. The corner piece is uh, broken from the looks of that pin. And I don't see the corner pieces in here. If I don't have the corners, I'm not gonna put a vinyl. Oh, there's one of them. But you see here, the stud's broken off. And it looks bent like they I kind of had to use force to break it off, but I guess it's the other side. Yeah, or something like that. I 
I don't really want to put a vinyl top on it, but this is mice. Uh, what else we got in here? Uh, a little rusty under there. And there's no gas tank. So I probably should have left it where I saw it. Yeah, guy backed into it when he was unloading it. So I gotta glue this back up here where it belongs. And I'm thinking I'll paint it in blue with white stripes. The same as I did with that 67 Mustang. That's uh, if you go back over my uh, YouTube videos, you'll see that Mustang. And it started out a piece of crap, as bad as this practically. And uh, wound up looking really nice. So I figure I'll do the same paint job on this as I did on that one. And then I can get a decent price for it. But it was so cheap, I just couldn't say no. I mean, I could sell one front fender off it and break even. But the front fenders are in such good shape. The doors, well, seems like a little bit of rust on here in the corner. But, uh, you go see what the other side looks like. I don't know if the gas cap is in there or not. I don't see it. Maybe under the spare. No, it's not. I don't think I get the other corner piece for the vinyl top. I don't know if they're available on the internet or not. I think everything else is there. But let's see, what's this door look like? Oh, there's no rust in this door. Well, oh, I feel a bump there. Guess I gotta grind that out, fix that. But the, the fenders aren't bad. Oh, yeah, there's some little bubbles. Oh, can you see it? Right there, we're starting to rust. So that's gotta go. So, uh, I'm gonna shut this down, find a battery, maybe unload it off the trailer, and uh, see if I can't get the motor running. If it runs, then I can drive it into the shelter, under the canopy. So that'd be fun. Okay, so I got it pushed in under the canopy and uh, haven't really tried to start it yet. Uh, got to get a battery out of something else to put into this one. Uh, but it should be an interesting uh, thing that a lot of people haven't uh, done videos on changing a whole roof skin. So you may want to follow along, see how it's done. I may want to see how it's done too. Uh, I think I've got to start by taking out the windshield. Uh, I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna uh, go online and order that roof. And uh, we'll see how much trouble is it to put a new roof on a car. I mean, it looked nice when I first drove up on it, so it doesn't look so nice after I looked it over carefully, but uh, it'll be nice when we get done with it. I'm going to make Richard and Isaiah do most of the work, I think, because I'm a lazy old man. I would rather play with the computer than go out and actually do any projects. I really should get some of this stuff done because I gotta clear this place out, get rid of all this junk so I can sell the house and move into a assisted living for old people because I got projects. There's three, three rat rods going at the same time here. I got the, the Buick that I gotta help with Emma. I got a truck in there that needs finishing. I got a, behind that Lincoln is a 60 Thunderbird convertible that I gotta get to work on. But when I get all those things done and get them all sold, 
and I can uh, sell the house be gone well there's been a change of plans I called up and uh, what was, was trying to order the roof for this and it was 433 bucks which I thought it was reasonable you know it's kind of expensive but you don't get this stuff for free but then they told me that uh, it was going to cost $400 more for shipping and it suddenly wasn't worth it anymore so so I called around and I found a place in Massachusetts that's got a used roof that he can cut off for me but uh, the boss wasn't there so I gotta wait for him to call back with an estimate of the price but I think I'd do a better with a uh, used roof anyway because he'll probably cut it here whereas the roof skin would have to weld in around here and I think it'd be safer to cut and weld down here because there's nothing much left to weld to up top and also I won't have to piece together the back of another top with the top from a uh, fastback so just waiting for the call back and I guess there's a seam here I think this might be it and uh, so if we can cut below the seam and I can uh, separate it and because I think my, from the seam down is good on this one. A little flaky, but uh, that's not too good there. But I can weld in a piece if I have to. Or I can have them cut it down at the, the bottom down here. Yeah, I'll probably cut right across. Maybe across there. I can replace this whole panel and the window and everything all at once well we'll see waiting for the call back